Marshal d'Azura. Chapter 316 Returning a present after coming out of the treasury, he did not rush to leave that area. Instead, he carefully strolled around the Lingyun school, because from the words luring the tiger to leave the mountain, he got some information out of them. He wanted to confirm to see whether the old guy Yanyang Tian returned to the Lingyun school or not. If he didn't, then he could cause huge chaos in the Lingyun school, because other than Yanyang Tian, there was no one who could threaten, or even stop, the current Chu Feng within the Lingyun school. Ah, I wonder if Lord School Head and the others arrived at the Azure Dragon School now or not and how the battle situation is. This time, pretty much all the experts of my Lingyun school were sent and all of them rode away on top-quality white-headed eagles. Looking at the time, they should have arrived at the Azure Dragon School by now. I'm sure that the Azure Dragon School has already been stamped flat by my Lingyun school, right? Humph. They deserved it. They are simply looking to die by daring to oppose my Lingyun school. Immediately when Chu Feng walked out, he heard two core disciples proudly discussing about their own school in a manner as if they were venting their anger out. Yan Yang Tian went to my Azure Dragon School? At that instant, Chu Feng's expression changed and his eyebrows tightly furrowed. He thought of a possibility. A possibility that was within expectations yet unwished to happen. So, he no longer hid around. He suddenly flew out from the corner, pointed at the two core disciples in front of him and loudly said, You two, stand still. Who is making all this damn noise? Every single one of the disciples of the Lingyun school were the masters of arrogance. They did not lower their heads as they walked, they wished they could raise their faces straight up into the sky. Especially the core disciples. They had no ends to their pride, so how could they tolerate anyone loudly yelling at them like that? So, with hearts full of fury, the two disciples suddenly spun their bodies around. Their fierce face could really scare a group of children to death. But when they faced Chu Feng, who had an evil smile on his face, they were instantly stupefied. Their eyes were widened so roundly and they no longer had their previous bloodlust. Replacing it was never-ending fear, and as they trembled while backing away, they pointed at Chu Feng and said, You, 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 they were so scared that they could no longer speak. The current Chilin Prince's mansion allied with Ling Yun School to apprehend Chu Feng, so his portraits already were already posted throughout the Lingyun school. Thus, no matter if one already saw Chu Feng before or not, everyone knew Chu Feng's appearance. In addition to the various deeds that Chu Feng did before, he already left a terrifying shadow within the young generation's hearts in the Azure province. How was it possible that they weren't afraid? They almost wet themselves. Seeing that they two of them were going to yell loudly, Chu Feng hurriedly leaped forward and arrived in front of the two in a blink. He used his hand to cover both of their mouths and evilly smiled and said, That's right, I'm Chu Feng. But I have a question I want to ask you too. Where did you just say Yan Yang Tian went? As the number one school of the Azure province, no matter it if was in terms of the numbers or strength of the elders or disciples, the Lingyun school was far from being comparable by the other schools. The Lingyun school was the true overlord within so many schools. Even if the other schools worked together, they would still be unable to shake the position of the Lingyun school. That was how powerful they were. At that instant, in the core zone of the Lingyun school, within a luxurious and spacious main hall, the strongest elders from the Lingyun school's core zone and even inner court gathered along with the most excellent core disciples in the Lingyun school. With some early estimations, there were several tens of thousands of people. The leader was one of the twelve protectors. He stood on top of the tall stage, which was in the middle of the main hall, and towered above to look at his surroundings. He loudly said, Chu Feng, the disciple from the Azure Dragon School, killed a disciple from my Lingyun School and also attempted to assassinate the lord of the Qilin Prince's mansion. His nerves could cover the skies and his crimes cannot be forgiven. Right now, the head of Mylingyun School is leading the elite army of Mylingyun School while working together with the Chilin Prince's mansion. They are advancing towards the Azure Dragon School to kill Chu Feng and to eliminate his accomplices. They are the evils of the Azure province. 
As for us, we are the core power within the current Lingyun school and we have obligation to protect the peace of my Lingyun school. So, before Lord School Head returns, I hope that everyone here can increase alertness to prevent anyone from entering to harm my school's disciples while the school is empty. Lord Protector, don't worry. Even if the school head isn't here, my Lingyun school is still the overlord of the Azure province and no one would dare to come here to make a mess. That's right. Even if there is someone who comes forward to cause a mess, we will kill them to the point that they'll be crapping and wetting themselves. We will let them know our strength, and we'll let them know that the dignity of my Lingyun school does not allow any blaspheming. At that instant, no matter if it was the Lingyun school's elders or disciples, they self-confidently loudly yelled. Bang. But just at that time, the shut big doors to the main hall was suddenly shattered and opened. Simultaneously, a figure also rushed into the main hall, like a ghost, and arrived onto the tall stage. With one foot, it kicked the protector down to the ground and he was stepped under that foot. That person was exactly Chu Fong. With the wave of his arm, boundless spirit formations sealed all the exits of the main hall, and after that, he swept his fierce gaze over all the Lingyun school's elders and disciples. He evilly smiled and said, The overlord of the Azure province, have you been well since last time? Chu Fong? The sudden change caused many people to be astonished, but when they saw who the person who came in was and the protector who was being stepped under his foot, they instantly became incomparably panicked. Every single one was dumbfounded from fright, and their previous confidence, their previous wild arrogance was, at that instant, no more. Run! Finally, someone yelled out loudly, and the current elites of the Lingyun school were like birds frightened by the sound of a bow. They started to do all they could to madly run towards the exits of the main hall. But it was useless. The exits were already sealed by Chu Fong. The spirit formation that Chu Fong laid was an impassable copper and iron wall and every single person in that place was locked in. Chu Fong, what are you planning to do? At that instant, the protector who was being stepped under Chu Feng's foot was incomparably alarmed as he loudly yelled. Although the people in that place weren't the strongest people in the Lingyun school, they were still the future hope of the Lingyun school. Especially the core disciples. They were the important targets of protection of the Lingyun school, because whether the school could rise greatly in power in the future depended on them. At that moment, those people were all stuck in that place, so how could that protector not be worried? After all, Chu Feng and the Lingyun school were currently like water and fire and they did not mix. Even idiots could imagine what Chu Feng was going to do when he appeared at that place. What I am planning to do? As he faced the protector's questioning, Chu Feng first lightly smiled, then he suddenly stamped down and shattered the protector's head. Fresh blood sprayed and shot out over the tall stage. Following that, Chu Feng raised his head and he swept his gaze of killing intent towards the densely packed figures in the main hall and coldly said. Yan Yang Tian is currently leading the army of the Lingyun school to destroy my Azure Dragon school's thousand years of foundation. However, what I only want to do in this period of time is to return a present to him. 630485BFB98C9622D6C69 Chapter 316 Returning a Present After coming out of the treasury, he did not rush to leave that area. Instead, he carefully strolled around the Lingyun school, because from the words luring the tiger to leave the mountain, he got some information out of him. He wanted to confirm to see whether the old guy Yan Yang Tian returned to the Lingyun school or not. If he didn't, then he could cause huge chaos in the Lingyun school, because other than Yan Yang Tian, there was no one who could threaten, or even stop, the current Chu Feng within the Lingyun school. Ah, I wonder if Lord School Head and the others arrived at the Azure Dragon School now or not and how the battle situation is. This time, pretty much all the experts of my Lingyun school were sent and all of them rode away on top-quality white-headed eagles. Looking at the time, they should have arrived at the Azure Dragon School by now. I'm sure that the Azure Dragon School has already been stamped flat by my Lingyun School, right? Humph. They deserved it. They are simply looking to die by daring to oppose my Lingyun School. 
Immediately when Chu Feng walked out, he heard two core disciples proudly discussing about their own school in a manner as if they were venting their anger out. Yan Yang Tian went to my Azure Dragon School? At that instant, Chu Feng's expression changed and his eyebrows tightly furrowed. He thought of a possibility. A possibility that was within expectations yet unwished to happen. So, he no longer hid around. He suddenly flew out from the corner, pointed at the two core disciples in front of him and loudly said, You two, stand still. Who is making all this damn noise? Every single one of the disciples of the Lingyun school were the masters of arrogance. They did not lower their heads as they walked, they wished they could raise their faces straight up into the sky. Especially the core disciples. They had no ends to their pride, so how could they tolerate anyone loudly yelling at them like that? So, with hearts full of fury, the two disciples suddenly spun their bodies around. Their fierce face could really scare a group of children to death. But when they faced Chu Feng, who had an evil smile on his face, they were instantly stupefied. Their eyes were widened so roundly and they no longer had their previous bloodlust. Replacing it was never-ending fear, and as they trembled while backing away, they pointed at Chu Feng and said, You, 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 they were so scared that they could no longer speak. The current Chilin prince's mansion allied with Ling Yun's school to apprehend Chu Feng so his portraits already were already posted throughout the Lingyun school. Thus, no matter if one already saw Chu Feng before or not, everyone knew Chu Feng's appearance. In addition to the various deeds that Chu Feng did before, he already left a terrifying shadow within the young generation's hearts in the Azure province. How was it possible that they weren't afraid? They almost wet themselves. Seeing that they two of them were going to yell loudly, Chu Feng hurriedly leaped forward and arrived in front of the two in a blink. He used his hand to cover both of their mouths and evilly smiled and said, That's right, I'm Chu Feng. But I have a question I want to ask you too. Where did you just say Yan Yang Tian went? As the number one school of the Azure province, no matter it if was in terms of the numbers or strength of the elders or disciples, the Lingyun school was far from being comparable by the other schools. The Lingyun school was the true overlord within so many schools. Even if the other schools worked together, they would still be unable to shake the position of the Lingyun school. That was how powerful they were. At that instant, in the core zone of the Lingyun school, within a luxurious and spacious main hall, the strongest elders from the Lingyun school's core zone and even inner court gathered along with the most excellent core disciples in the Lingyun school. With some early estimations, there were several tens of thousands of people. The leader was one of the twelve protectors. He stood on top of the tall stage, which was in the middle of the main hall, and towered above to look at his surroundings. He loudly said, Chu Feng, the disciple from the Azure Dragon School, killed a disciple from Mylingyun School and also attempted to assassinate the lord of the Qilin Prince's mansion. His nerves could cover the skies and his crimes cannot be forgiven. Right now, the head of Mylingyun School is leading the elite army of Mylingyun School while working together with the Qilin Prince's mansion. They are advancing towards the Azure Dragon School to kill Chu Feng and to eliminate his accomplices. They are the evils of the Azure province. As for us, we are the core power within the current Lingyun School and we have obligation to protect the peace of Mylingyun School. So, before Lord School Head returns, I hope that everyone here can increase alertness to prevent anyone from entering to harm my school's disciples while the school is empty. Lord Protector, don't worry. Even if the school head isn't here, my Lingyun school is still the overlord of the Azure province and no one would dare to come here to make a mess. That's right. Even if there is someone who comes forward to cause a mess, we will kill them to the point that they'll be crapping and wetting themselves. We will let them know our strength and we'll let them know that the dignity of my Lingyun school does not allow any blaspheming. At that instant, no matter if it was the Lingyun school's elders or disciples, they self-confidently loudly yelled. Bang! But just at that time, the shut big doors to the main hall was suddenly shattered and opened. Simultaneously, a figure also rushed into the main hall, like a ghost, and arrived onto the tall stage. 
with one foot, it kicked the protector down to the ground and he was stepped under that foot. That person was exactly Chu Fong. With the wave of his arm, boundless spirit formations sealed all the exits of the main hall, and after that, he swept his fierce gaze over all the Lingyan school's elders and disciples. He evilly smiled and said, The overlord of the Azure province, have you been well since last time? Chu Fong? The sudden change caused many people to be astonished, but when they saw who the person who came in was and the protector who was being stepped under his foot, they instantly became incomparably panicked. Every single one was dumbfounded from fright, and their previous confidence, their previous wild arrogance was, at that instant, no more. Run. Finally, someone yelled out loudly, and the current elites of the Lingyun school were like birds frightened by the sound of a bow. They started to do all they could to madly run towards the exits of the main hall. But it was useless. The exits were already sealed by Chu Fong. The spirit formation that Chu Fong laid was an impassable copper and iron wall and every single person in that place was locked in. Chu Fong, what are you planning to do? At that instant, the protector who was being stepped under Chu Feng's foot was incomparably alarmed as he loudly yelled. Although the people in that place weren't the strongest people in the Lingyun school, they were still the future hope of the Lingyun school. Especially the core disciples. They were the important targets of protection of the Lingyun school, because whether the school could rise greatly in power in the future depended on them. At that moment, those people were all stuck in that place, so how could that protector not be worried? After all, Chu Feng and the Lingyun school were currently like water and fire, and they did not mix. Even idiots could imagine what Chu Feng was going to do when he appeared at that place. What I am planning to do? As he faced the protector's questioning, Chu Feng first lightly smiled, then he suddenly stamped down and shattered the protector's head. Fresh blood sprayed and shot out over the tall stage. Following that, Chu Feng raised his head and he swept his gaze of killing intent towards the densely packed figures in the main hall and coldly said, Yan Yang Tian is currently leading the army of the Lingyun school to destroy my Azure Dragon school's thousand years of foundation. However, what I only want to do in this period of time is to return a present to him. Marshal God Azura Chapter 317 Widespread Slaughtering Boom 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 the Azure Dragon Mountain Range, within the Azure Dragon School. The flames of battle never ended and booms rang out everywhere. Within the circumference of a hundred miles, both birds and beasts were frightened. Outside of the Azure Dragon Mountain Range, one could also clearly see the rolling thick smoke that rose to the sky and they could feel the slight trembling of the earth under their feet, as if there was an earthquake. That situation shocked the powers and citizens around the Azure Dragon School. No matter if it were cultivators or commoners, as they looked at the distant ancient mountain range that was enveloped by fumes, they kept on sighing. Ah, the school that has been erected for a thousand years gets destroyed in such a way. In the future, it seems like my children and grandchildren will need to rely on other schools for cultivation. This is a matter that couldn't be helped. Who told the Azure Dragon School to offend the Lingyun School, right? They must pay for their crimes, so we can only hope that the flames of this battle will not also affect us innocent people. At that instant, people's faces hung different emotions. Some felt pity, some felt regret, some felt worried that the battle would also affect themselves, but the thing that had to be admitted was that in the future, there would no longer be an Azure Dragon School in the Azure Dragon Mountain Range. If the young people in that piece of land wanted to do martial cultivation, they could only walk a longer road to go towards other schools. To them, it was truly a huge loss. At that instant, within the Azure Dragon School, the people from the Lingyun School and Chilin Prince's Mansion were destroying everything in the Azure Dragon School as they wished, because almost everyone in the Azure Dragon School left. The ones who remained were only people who did dishonest activities, so the Azure Dragon School was like an empty city. Where were there any intentions of a battle of life and death? He was simply playing around with them, and they were tricked. So, no matter if it was the people from the Lingyun school or the people from the Chilin Prince's mansion, they were extremely furious. 
only wild destruction, could vent the anger out in their current hearts. Especially Lin Moli, whose son, got killed by Chu Fong. It was as if he went into a rage, and with the strength of the Heaven Realm, he went around the Azure Dragon School's core zone and caused chaos by himself. The gorgeous structures were no longer the same after he threw attacks at them, but he was still ravaging. We were tricked. We were tricked by that brat Chu Fong. At the start, he never planned to fight against us with his life, yet we believed him. He, Yan Yang Tian stood in the air while looking at the people who were devastating with everything they had. However, a bitter smile was hung on the corners of his mouth and his face was abnormally gloomy. He wasn't so gloomy because he was tricked. It was because today a huge root of disaster was buried, a hidden disease that was impossible to heal. That was why he was so gloomy. He knew that Chu Feng was still going to return, but when Chu Feng reappeared in front of his face, the one who would die would certainly be himself. Ah. Uh. Suddenly, Yan Yang Tian insanely held. The ear-piercing sound shook the air until it was trembling, and even the Lingyun school disciples and the Qilin prince's mansion guards found it hard to endure it. They couldn't help but cover their ears and painfully rolled on the ground. Only after a long while did he stop howling. However, the current him was like Lin Moli. His face was filled with fury, then his entire person was like an arrow which left the bow as he shot into the Azure Dragon School and started to unrestrainedly destroy everything in the Azure Dragon School to calm his uneasy emotions. At the same time, within the main hall of the Lingyun School, corpses stacked up to form mountains and the blood flowed to form rivers. Chu Feng was still sitting on top of tall stage. Not a single drop of blood stained his robe and as he sat on top of the protector's body, he smiled while looking at everything below. Chu Feng personally killed several tens of thousands of people. Some were old, some were middle-aged, and some were people who were around the same generation as Chu Feng. All of them had extreme good martial, cultivating talent and they were the elites who had very strong potential. But currently, they all died by Chu Feng's hands, but Chu Feng's face did not change in the slightest because of their death. This was a matter of position. It had no relation to morality, only grudges. On the battlefield, a soldier that had mercy towards the enemy was not a good soldier. Chu Feng wasn't a soldier, but in this place, it was his battlefield. The people from the Lingyun school were Chu Feng's enemy so Chu Feng would not have mercy towards his enemies. He would not have the tiniest bit of self-blame by killing them, because in Chu Feng's heart, his enemies deserved to die. Hmm, suddenly, with a thought from Chu Feng, large amounts of spirit formation power started to surge out of his body. Following Chu Feng's command, more large amounts of strange symbols were condensed out. With special patterns, they started to wander around in the ocean of corpses. It was a huge spirit formation. With lightning-fast methods and after laying another spirit formation, Chu Feng removed the spirit formation that sealed the main hall, leaped down from the tall stage, gradually walked towards the outside of the hall, and lightly said, Even though we were enemies, this time, I'll give all of you a dignified funeral. Hugh. Just as Chu Feng walked out of the main hall, the spirit formation started to activate. Flames that rose to the skies surged out from the formation and it quickly lit the corpses up and ignited the entire palace. Look. The main hall is on fire. What happened? This isn't good. Quickly go fight the fire. Seeing that the most sacred palace was being burnt by raging flames, many elders and disciples of the Lingyun school instantly panicked. They hurriedly ran towards the main hall and they even rang the big bell as they wanted to fight the fire. However, they did not know that a demon with thick bloodlust was grasping a formless death god sickle as he awaited for their approach. This time, Chu Feng truly prepared for a widespread slaughtering. The Lingyun school was extremely big, and the abilities of Chu Feng himself were limited. So, Chu Feng set his target all onto the Lingyun school's core disciples and core elders. The ones he wanted to kill were the elites of the Lingyun school, but even so, Chu Feng could not completely kill them all. 
Since he could not kill them all, Chu Feng chose destruction. He started to destroy the most sacred, most important place in the Lingyun school. He wrecked the luxurious and dazzling palaces, burnt mysterious techniques and martial skills, and after the time of a full day and night, he turned the Lingyun school upside down, then he swaggeringly left whenever he felt like it. Then after two more days, several hundred huge white-headed eagles from the east of the Lingyun school appeared. They were the elites of the Lingyun school, and after they were led by Yanyang Tian and flattened the Azure Dragon School, they were returning back victoriously. At that instant, Yanyang Tian was not flying. By himself, he sat on the white-headed eagle in the front. He did not speak anything while he had his eyes close for resting. No one knew what he was thinking about. On the other hand, the elders and disciples all had pleased faces, and they started to announce their achievements. But it has to be said that this Azure Dragon School is rather large. One would really not think that it was a second-rate school before. Humph. So what if it's big? Was it still not flattened by us, without leaving a single strand of fur behind? That's right. Those who offend my Lingyun school in the Azure province will only end up like this. That Chu Feng so impudent, but this time, didn't he just run away with his tail, between his legs? I couldn't even see his shadow. Several young core disciples were proudly bragging. As for the elders, although they weren't as open as the disciples, after hearing them talk about that, their faces also brimmed with smiles of pride. It was because after that matter were to spread out, at least it would stabilize the Lingyun school's position of being the overlord of the Azure province, and it would let everyone know what result one would get if they were to oppose the Lingyun school. Look, what's that? But just at that time, a disciple with sharp eyes suddenly stood up. He pointed at the direction of the Lingyun school and extremely anxiously yelled. What are you making such a big fuss of, heavens? This, when others saw it as well and reacted to it, their faces similarly changed greatly and they were incomparably shocked as they appeared abnormally terrified. After Yan Yang Tian opened his eyes, even his pupils abruptly shrunk. On his originally calm demeanor, uneasiness surged. Without saying anything, he rose into the air and after leaving the white-headed eagle, he quickly flew towards the Lingyun school. At the same time, other people steered the white-headed eagle underneath them with all they had and hurried towards the Lingyun school with their fastest speed. At that very instant, their hearts were filled with uneasiness. Although they had not seen everything clearly yet, they already knew that the Lingyun school they were so proud of was attacked by someone. 6304858 BFB9 8C9622D6C69 Chapter 317 Widespread Slaughtering Boom 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 The Azure Dragon Mountain Range, within the Azure Dragon School The flames of battle never ended and booms rang out everywhere. Within the circumference of a hundred miles, both birds and beasts were frightened. Outside of the Azure Dragon Mountain Range, one could also clearly see the rolling thick smoke that rose to the sky and they could feel the slight trembling of the earth under their feet, as if there was an earthquake. That situation shocked the powers and citizens around the Azure Dragon School. No matter if it were cultivators or commoners, as they looked at the distant ancient mountain range that was enveloped by fumes, they kept on sighing. Ah, the school that has been erected for a thousand years gets destroyed in such a way. In the future, it seems like my children and grandchildren will need to rely on other schools for cultivation. This is a matter that couldn't be helped. Who told the Azure Dragon School to offend the Lingyun School, right? They must pay for their crimes, so we can only hope that the flames of this battle will not also affect us innocent people. At that instant, people's faces hung different emotions. Some felt pity, some felt regret, some felt worried that the battle would also affect themselves, but the thing that had to be admitted was that in the future, there would no longer be an Azure Dragon School in the Azure Dragon Mountain Range. If the young people in that piece of land wanted to do martial cultivation, they could only walk a longer road to go towards other schools. To them, it was truly a huge loss. At that instant, within the Azure Dragon School, 
the people from the Lingyan School and Chilin Prince's mansion were destroying everything in the Azure Dragon School as they wished because almost everyone in the Azure Dragon School left. The ones who remained were only people who did dishonest activities, so the Azure Dragon School was like an empty city. Where were there any intentions of a battle of life and death? He was simply playing around with them, and they were tricked. So, no matter if it was the people from the Lingyun School or the people from the Chilin Prince's mansion, they were extremely furious. Only wild destruction could vent the anger out in their current hearts especially Lin Moli, whose son, got killed by Chu Fong. It was as if he went into a rage, and with the strength of the Heaven Realm, he went around the Azure Dragon School's core zone and caused chaos by himself. The gorgeous structures were no longer the same after he threw attacks at them, but he was still ravaging. We were tricked. We were tricked by that brat Chu Fong. At the start, he never planned to fight against us with his life, yet we believed him. He, Yan Yang Tian stood in the air while looking at the people who were devastating with everything they had. However, a bitter smile was hung on the corners of his mouth and his face was abnormally gloomy. He wasn't so gloomy because he was tricked. It was because today a huge root of disaster was buried, a hidden disease that was impossible to heal. That was why he was so gloomy. He knew that Chu Feng was still going to return but when Chu Feng reappeared in front of his face, the one who would die would certainly be himself. Ah. Uh. Suddenly, Yan Yang Tian insanely held. The ear-piercing sound shook the air until it was trembling, and even the Lingyun school disciples and the Chilin prince's mansion guards found it hard to endure it. They couldn't help but cover their ears and painfully rolled on the ground. Only after a long while did he stop howling. However, the current him was like Lin Moli. His face was filled with fury, then his entire person was like an arrow which left the bow as he shot into the Azure Dragon School and started to unrestrainedly destroy everything in the Azure Dragon School to calm his uneasy emotions. At the same time, within the main hall of the Lingyun School, corpses stacked up to form mountains and the blood flowed to form rivers. Chu Feng was still sitting on top of tall stage. Not a single drop of blood stained his robe and as he sat on top of the protector's body, he smiled while looking at everything below. Chu Feng personally killed several tens of thousands of people. Some were old, some were middle-aged, and some were people who were around the same generation as Chu Feng. All of them had extreme good martial, cultivating talent and they were the elites who had very strong potential. But currently, they all died by Chu Feng's hands but Chu Feng's face did not change in the slightest because of their death. This was a matter of position. It had no relation to morality, only grudges. On the battlefield, a soldier that had mercy towards the enemy was not a good soldier. Chu Feng wasn't a soldier, but in this place, it was his battlefield. The people from the Lingyun school were Chu Feng's enemy, so Chu Feng would not have mercy towards his enemies. He would not have the tiniest bit of self-blame by killing them, because in Chu Feng's heart, his enemies deserved to die. Hmm, suddenly, with a thought from Chu Feng, large amounts of spirit formation power started to surge out of his body. Following Chu Feng's command, more large amounts of strange symbols were condensed out. With special patterns, they started to wander around in the ocean of corpses. It was a huge spirit formation. With lightning-fast methods and after laying another spirit formation, Chu Feng removed the spirit formation that sealed the main hall, leaped down from the tall stage, gradually walked towards the outside of the hall, and lightly said, Even though we were enemies, this time, I'll give all of you a dignified funeral. Hugh. Just as Chu Feng walked out of the main hall, the spirit formation started to activate. Flames that rose to the skies surged out from the formation and it quickly lit the corpses up and ignited the entire palace. Look. The main hall is on fire. What happened? This isn't good. Quickly go fight the fire. Seeing that the most sacred palace was being burnt by raging flames, many elders and disciples of the Lingyun school instantly panicked. They hurriedly ran towards the main hall and they even rang the big bell as they wanted to fight the fire. 
However, they did not know that a demon with thick bloodlust was grasping a formless death god's sickle as he awaited for their approach. This time, Chu Feng truly prepared for a widespread slaughtering. The Lingyan school was extremely big, and the abilities of Chu Feng himself were limited. So, Chu Feng set his target all onto the Lingyan school's core disciples and core elders. The ones he wanted to kill were the elites of the Lingyan school, but even so, Chu Feng could not completely kill them all. Since he could not kill them all, Chu Feng chose destruction. He started to destroy the most sacred, most important place in the Lingyan school. He wrecked the luxurious and dazzling palaces, burnt mysterious techniques and martial skills, and after the time of a full day and night, he turned the Lingyan school upside down, then he swaggeringly left whenever he felt like it. Then after two more days, several hundred huge white-headed eagles from the east of the Lingyan school appeared. They were the elites of the Lingyan school, and after they were led by Yanyang Tian and flattened the Azure Dragon School, they were returning back victoriously. At that instant, Yanyang Tian was not flying. By himself, he sat on the white-headed eagle in the front. He did not speak anything while he had his eyes close for resting. No one knew what he was thinking about. On the other hand, the elders and disciples all had pleased faces, and they started to announce their achievements. But it has to be said that this Azure Dragon School is rather large. One would really not think that it was a second-rate school before. Humph. So what if it's big? Was it still not flattened by us, without leaving a single strand of fur behind? That's right. Those who offend my Lingyan school in the Azure province will only end up like this. That Chu Feng so impudent, but this time, didn't he just run away with his tail, between his legs? I couldn't even see his shadow. Several young core disciples were proudly bragging. As for the elders, although they weren't as open as the disciples, after hearing them talk about that, their faces also brimmed with smiles of pride. It was because after that matter were to spread out, at least it would stabilize the Lingyan school's position of being the overlord of the Azure province, and it would let everyone know what result one would get if they were to oppose the Lingyan school. Look, what's that? But just at that time, a disciple with sharp eyes suddenly stood up. He pointed at the direction of the Lingyan school and extremely anxiously yelled. What are you making such a big fuss of, heavens? This, when others saw it as well and reacted to it, their faces similarly changed greatly and they were incomparably shocked as they appeared abnormally terrified. After Yan Yang Tian opened his eyes, even his pupils abruptly shrunk. On his originally calm demeanor, uneasiness surged. Without saying anything, he rose into the air and after leaving the white-headed eagle, he quickly flew towards the Lingyan school. At the same time, other people steered the white-headed eagle underneath them with all they had and hurried towards the Lingyan school with their fastest speed. At that very instant, their hearts were filled with uneasiness. Although they had not seen everything clearly yet, they already knew that the Lingyan school they were so proud of was attacked by someone. Marshal God Azura Chapter 318 Road of Extinction, Heavens This, 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 why did this happen? Who did this? When Yan Yang Tian and the strongest elites of the Lingyan school returned and saw the current state of the Lingyan school, their faces turned pale white one after the other in fury and sorrow was within their eyes. Although the current Lingyan school was not flattened, but saying that it could no longer be recognized was reasonable. Especially the core zone. The place that was the most luxurious and was the most invested towards already got destroyed into a complete mess. The corpse of core disciples and core elders scattered everywhere and every single person was in such a wretched state that one could not bear looking at them. Martial skills building, cultivation building, all of them were ravaged. All of the martial skills were burnt into nothing and cultivation resources were destroyed. Despite there were very few people who died or were injured within the inner court disciples and elders, they were still not lightly frightened. Many people escaped the Lingyan school and they were deeply afraid of being dragged down by it. The ones who remained were currently urgently saving and healing as they were led by the elders. Quick, go rescue, go rescue! 
After being at a loss for quite a while, Yan Yang Tian slowly came to his senses and loudly yelled. And from then on, the elites on top of the white-headed eagles quickly rushed down and started to help the people that hadn't died yet. However, when he was ordering others to rescue, Yan Yang Tian gradually descended from the sky. He went over an area of ruined land. He did not say a single thing and he sank into silence. Lord School Head, this isn't good. Over half of my school's elite disciples and elders have died, and even the resource treasury has been looted completely with nothing left behind. Several protectors ran over with faces full of panic, and even they could not remain calm. Because this time, the Lingyan School's losses were really too big. The outstanding disciples and elders that had been developed for many years were almost completely slaughtered. Even the resource treasury that had been accumulating for many years was looted completely, and the excellent quality martial skills were burnt as well. The Lingyan School, the grand, number one school of the Azure province, was made into that state by someone. Putting aside that today's losses were heavy, causing their vitality to be greatly harmed, if this matter were to be spread out, the Lingyan School would become the laughing stock of the Azure province. Who was it? Whose deed was this? I must strip his skin and extract his tendons. Yan Yang Tian suddenly furiously howled. His voice spread past a hundred miles, and everyone could feel his anger. Lord School Head, Lord School Head, I know who did it. I know who did it. Suddenly, several core disciples ran over with panic across their faces. They were even propping a person up. It was a rather well-known elder in the core zone. But currently, that elder had heavy injuries all over his body, cultivation that could not be kept, and he was also on the border of life and death. However, he was still conscious. Elder Liu, who was the one that actually did this? At that instant, before letting Yan Yang Tian speak, the several protectors could not wait any longer as they went up to closely ask. It was, Chu, Chu. Chu Feng. Elder Liu spoke Chu Feng's name with an extremely feeble tone. What? Chu Feng, it was actually him? After hearing that name, not a single person's complexion on scene did not change greatly. Following that, another protector quickly asked again, other than Chu Feng, who else? Was it Chi Feng Yang? Was Chi Feng Yang also there? No, there was no one else. Only Chu Feng. All of you, run. He is simply the devil, the most terrifying person that I had ever seen. He will still return, and at that time, no one will be able to run. After speaking those words, Elder Lu's head tilted to the side, and his body fell onto the ground. Thoroughly, he no longer breathed, and he was already dead. Tadada. At that instant, the people on scene all took several steps back and they were so shocked that they could no longer stand stably. The legs of two of the protectors went soft, and with a poof, they sat limply on the ground. On their faces, indescribable colors of terror surged as they were appalled. Only after a while did those people recover from such shocking news. Everyone cast their gazes towards Yan Yang Tian, the head of the Lingyun school the backbone in their hearts. Heh. Without removing a great enemy, there will be endless future troubles. I, Yan Yang Tian, have committed a grave mistake, and it would be that I shouldn't have offended Chu Feng. My Lingyan school is destroyed, destroyed by my hands. I, Yan Yang Tian, am finished. I personally sent this life's future to the grave. However, just at that moment, Yan Yang Tian had an ash-like face as he muttered to himself with a bitter smile, and he started to slowly walk towards the outside of the Lingyan school. School head, school head, what are you doing? Seeing that, everyone was frightened because they could see that the present Yan Yang Tian's mental state was slightly unstable. But he was the head of the Lingyan school. Their backbone. If something were to happen to him at this time, who else could take control of the situation? What should they do? Who was going to fix their current broken circumstances? But Yan Yang Tian did not even care about the increasing number of elders and disciples following behind him. 
he only kept on walking west. Only after walking out of the Lingyun school did he suddenly stop his steps to speak to the people behind him. Everyone, leave. Cut off your relationship with the Lingyun school, or else he will still come back. At that time, no one will be able to stop him. No one will be able to return alive. The Lingyun school will also completely go extinct, and even your family will be affected by it. After saying those words, Yan Yang Tian leaped, rose into the sky, and flew towards the western horizon. No matter how the protectors, elders, and disciples of the Lingyun school yelled, he did not even turn his head around. Today's matter very quickly spread throughout the Azure province and became the most shocking news of the province. The Lingyun school was destroyed. Destroyed by a young man. That young man was the person who killed Du Guoyun and gained the title of being the strongest school head in the Hundred School Gathering. He was also the person who saved Chi Fengyang by himself from the sentencing grounds of the Qilin Prince's mansion. Chu Feng. Relying on his own power, Chu Feng destroyed the number one school in the Azure province, killed countless elite disciples and elders, and shook the foundation of several hundred years. News regarding the head of the Lingyun school, Yan Yang Tian, was even all lost at that time. The number one school of the Azure province was immediately like a group of dragons, without a leader, and they went into complete chaos. Many disciples and elders started to leave the Lingyun school, to rely on other schools. They even said to outsiders that they were instructions left by the school head, Yan Yang Tian, before he departed. If they didn't cut off their relationship with the Lingyun school, sooner or later, they would be met with the disaster of school extermination. That matter was too shocking. However, to other schools, it was undoubtedly a good thing. The Overlord Level School's foundation was destroyed, and the Heaven Realm School head abandoned his own school and escaped. It gave other first-rate schools a rare chance. Even though there were some people who chose to remain behind in the Lingyun School, after all, there were quite a large number of people who left and since their cultivation resources were destroyed, it was absolutely impossible for the Lingyun School to rise again from the East Mountains. To the many Azure Provinces schools, it meant that they were welcoming a new era. An era to fight over the position of being the number one school. But no one would forget that the person who created this era was a young man called Chu Feng, and the person who also destroyed the Lingyun school was also a young man called Chu Feng. Only because it offended the young man called Chu Feng, the Lingyun school, the number one school in the Azure province that had been erected for several hundred years, walked towards the path of extinction with extremely quick speed. 630485BFB98C9622D6C69 Chapter 318 Road of Extinction Heavens! This, 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 why did this happen? Who did this? When Yan Yang Tian and the strongest elites of the Lingyun school returned and saw the current state of the Lingyun school, their faces turned pale white one after the other in fury and sorrow was within their eyes. Although the current Lingyun school was not flattened, but saying that it could no longer be recognized was reasonable. Especially the core zone. The place that was the most luxurious and was the most invested towards already got destroyed into a complete mess. The corpse of core disciples and core elders scattered everywhere and every single person was in such a wretched state that one could not bear looking at them. Martial skills building, cultivation building, all of them were ravaged. All of the martial skills were burnt into nothing and cultivation resources were destroyed. Despite there were very few people who died or were injured within the inner court disciples and elders, they were still not lightly frightened. Many people escaped the Lingyun school and they were deeply afraid of being dragged down by it. The ones who remained were currently urgently saving and healing as they were led by the elders. Quick, go rescue, go rescue. After being at a loss for quite a while, Yan Yang Tian slowly came to his senses and loudly yelled. And from then on, the elites on top of the white-headed eagles quickly rushed down and started to help the people that hadn't died yet. However, when he was ordering others to rescue, Yan Yang Tian gradually descended from the sky. He went over an area of ruined land. He did not say a single thing and he sank into silence. 
Lord School Head, this isn't good. Over half of my school's elite disciples and elders have died, and even the resource treasury has been looted completely with nothing left behind. Several protectors ran over with faces full of panic, and even they could not remain calm. Because this time, the Lingyan school's losses were really too big. The outstanding disciples and elders that had been developed for many years were almost completely slaughtered. Even the resource treasury that had been accumulating for many years was looted completely, and the excellent quality martial skills were burnt as well. The Lingyan school, the grand, number one school of the Azure province, was made into that state by someone. Putting aside that today's losses were heavy, causing their vitality to be greatly harmed, if this matter were to be spread out, the Lingyan school would become the laughing stock of the Azure province. Who was it? Whose deed was this? I must strip his skin and extract his tendons. Yan Yang Tian suddenly furiously howled. His voice spread past a hundred miles, and everyone could feel his anger. Lord School Head, Lord School Head, I know who did it. I know who did it. Suddenly, several core disciples ran over with panic across their faces. They were even propping a person up. It was a rather well-known elder in the core zone. But currently, that elder had heavy injuries all over his body, cultivation that could not be kept, and he was also on the border of life and death. However, he was still conscious. Elder Liu, who was the one that actually did this? At that instant, before letting Yan Yang Tian speak, the several protectors could not wait any longer as they went up to closely ask. It was, Chu, Chu, Chu Feng. Elder Liu spoke Chu Feng's name with an extremely feeble tone. What? Chu Feng, it was actually him? After hearing that name, not a single person's complexion on scene did not change greatly. Following that, another protector quickly asked again, other than Chu Feng, who else? Was it Chi Feng Yang? Was Chi Feng Yang also there? No, there was no one else. Only Chu Feng. All of you, run. He is simply the devil, the most terrifying person that I had ever seen. He will still return, and at that time, no one will be able to run. After speaking those words, Elder Lu's head tilted to the side, and his body fell onto the ground. Thoroughly, he no longer breathed and he was already dead. Tadada. At that instant, the people on scene all took several steps back and they were so shocked that they could no longer stand stably. The legs of two of the protectors went soft, and with a poof, they sat limply on the ground. On their faces, indescribable colors of terror surged as they were appalled. Only after a while did those people recover from such shocking news. Everyone cast their gazes towards Yan Yang Tian, the head of the Lingyun school. The backbone in their hearts. Heh. Without removing a great enemy, there will be endless future troubles. I, Yan Yang Tian, have committed a grave mistake, and it would be that I shouldn't have offended Chu Feng. My Lingyun school is destroyed, destroyed by my hands. I, Yan Yang Tian, am finished. I personally sent this life's future to the grave. However, just at that moment, Yan Yang Tian had an ash-like face as he muttered to himself with a bitter smile, and he started to slowly walk towards the outside of the Lingyun school. School head, school head, what are you doing? Seeing that, everyone was frightened because they could see that the present Yan Yang Tian's mental state was slightly unstable. But he was the head of the Lingyun school. Their backbone. If something were to happen to him at this time, who else could take control of the situation? What should they do? Who was going to fix their current broken circumstances? But Yan Yang Tian did not even care about the increasing number of elders and disciples following behind him. He only kept on walking west. Only after walking out of the Lingyun school did he suddenly stop his steps to speak to the people behind him. Everyone, leave. Cut off your relationship with the Lingyun school, or else he will still come back. At that time, no one will be able to stop him. No one will be able to return alive. The Lingyun school will also completely go extinct, and even your family will be affected by it. 
After saying those words, Yan Yang Tian leaped, rose into the sky, and flew towards the western horizon. No matter how the protectors, elders, and disciples of the Lingyun school yelled, he did not even turn his head around. Today's matter very quickly spread throughout the Azure province and became the most shocking news of the province. The Lingyun school was destroyed. Destroyed by a young man. That young man was the person who killed Du Guoyun and gained the title of being the strongest school head in the Hundred School Gathering. He was also the person who saved Chi Fengyang by himself from the sentencing grounds of the Qilin Prince's mansion. Chu Feng Relying on his own power, Chu Feng destroyed the number one school in the Azure province, killed countless elite disciples and elders, and shook the foundation of several hundred years. News regarding the head of the Lingyun school, Yan Yang Tian, was even all lost at that time. The number one school of the Azure province was immediately like a group of dragons, without a leader, and they went into complete chaos. Many disciples and elders started to leave the Lingyun school to rely on other schools. They even said to outsiders that they were instructions left by the school head, Yan Yang Tian, before he departed. If they didn't cut off their relationship with the Lingyun school, sooner or later, they would be met with the disaster of school extermination. That matter was too shocking. However, to other schools, it was undoubtedly a good thing. The Overlord Level School's foundation was destroyed, and the Heaven Realm School head abandoned his own school and escaped. It gave other first-rate schools a rare chance. Even though there were some people who chose to remain behind in the Lingyun School, after all, there were quite a large number of people who left and since their cultivation resources were destroyed, it was absolutely impossible for the Lingyun School to rise again from the East Mountains. To the many Azure Provinces schools, it meant that they were welcoming a new era. An era to fight over the position of being the number one school. But no one would forget that the person who created this era was a young man called Chu Feng, and the person who also destroyed the Lingyun school was also a young man called Chu Feng. Only because it offended the young man called Chu Feng, the Lingyun school, the number one school in the Azure province that had been erected for several hundred years, walked towards the path of extinction with extremely quick speed. Martial God Azura Chapter 319 Cultivating with a Calm Heart the So-Called For the Matters of the World If there are people who are happy, there are people who are sad. The news of Chu Feng destroying the Lingyun school caused all other schools to be incomparably joyful, but as the real overlord of the Azure province, the Qilin Prince's mansion, who also offended Chu Feng, sank into unprecedented terror. Mansion Lord, what should we do? Yan Yang Tian has already escaped, and look at us. In the broadest hall within the Qilin Prince's mansion, Lin Moli sat on the head seat and all the experts who had fame, strength within the Prince's mansion were all in there. However, the current them no longer had their arrogance of being high up on top. Every single one revealed fearful faces, and they were extremely uneasy. They were all terrified by the matter of the Lingyun school. They were terrified by Chu Feng's actions. They were deeply afraid that after the Lingyun school, their Qilin prince's mansion would come next, that they were included within the next wave of people being slaughtered. What is there to be afraid of? Don't forget, we are the Qilin prince's mansion, and we have the Jiang dynasty behind us. No matter how much nerves Chu Feng has, he will not dare to do anything against my Qilin prince's mansion unless he doesn't want to continue in the continent of the Nine Provinces. Lin Moli suddenly stood up and his powerful palm abruptly dropped. He shattered the chair underneath his body as he angrily roared, causing the entire hall to tremble. It still had to be said that after hearing his roar, everyone in the hall quieted down and their panicked expressions also calmed a bit. After that, Lin Moli spoke a lot more to the crowd. Such as already reporting Chu Feng's matter to the Jiang dynasty, that they would prepare to help the Qilin prince's mansion catch Chu Feng, that Chu Feng could no longer protect himself, that it would be impossible for him to rise from the East Mountains, that he would sooner or later get killed, etc. Those words successfully comforted the shaken hearts of the Qilin prince's mansion experts, but the experts did not see Lin Moli's full face of terror and extreme uneasiness in the instant he turned around. 
As Chu Feng's achievements were being noisily spread and as the outside world was being flipped upside down, underneath the Azure Dragon Mountain Range, there was this section of untainted land. Li Zhongqing and the Azure Dragon elites, Chu Yu and the Chu family, as well as Su Ro, Su Mei, and the two others, were living quite well within the Thousand Bone Graveyard. After Chu Feng told everyone about the matter of him taking Chi Feng Yang away and destroying the Lingyun school with the assistance of a mysterious expert, everyone in that place was extremely happy. Chu Feng, you boy, you are too outstanding. You have actually brought back so many treasures, but it's just that these things are too precious, and I would feel quite bad if I were to take them. Li Zhongqing looked at the rare treasures in front of his eyes, and he had smiles all over his face from excitement. His old wrinkles pleated together and he looked just like a meat-filled steamed bun. It was because there were many good things placed in front of his face. Large amounts of origin medicine, special weapons, and also protective equipment. All of them were taken from the Lingyun School's resource treasury, and currently, he gave them all to Li Zhongqing for free. School Head Since I, Chu Feng, caused the Azure Dragon School to be flattened and a thousand years of foundation to be destroyed in a single moment, I truly feel endless shame in my heart, so if you take these, I will feel a bit better. Chu Feng said with an apologetic face. Ah, you idiot boy. What they destroyed was only an empty frame. My Azure Dragon School's foundation has all been moved to this place. These are the roots for re-establishing my Azure Dragon School. Li Zhongqing cast his gaze towards a nearby place. There was a simple shelf over there, but all sorts of martial skills and mysterious techniques were neatly placed on that shelf. There was also the Azure Dragon School's resource register. These things were truly what a school needed to establish itself. But, Chu Feng still felt rather bad. There are no buts. These are just worldly materials, and they are just the foundations for the rise of my Azure Dragon School. The ones over there are the true necessities for the rise of my Azure Dragon School. Li Zhongqing then looked towards the direction of the Essence Pool. Ever since entering this place, all the young generation disciples of the Azure Dragon School as well as the elders started to cultivate as they were in the pool, gaining great benefits. After that, Li Zhongqing patted Chu Feng's shoulders and said, And you are the hope who will lead them and strengthen my Azure Dragon School. Mim Lord School Head, don't worry. From today on, I, Chu Feng, will build an even grander Azure Dragon School on the Azure Dragon Mountain Range. At that time, not only will my Azure Dragon School be the overlord of the Azure Province, it will also have its part in the continent of the Nine Provinces. After hearing Li Zhongqing's words, Chu Feng's knot in his heart was undone and he solemnly vowed to guarantee. The reason why Chu Feng did not directly leave but rather return to this place again after destroying the Lingyun school was first, to let everyone who worried about him know that he, Chu Feng, was fine and also that the Lingyun school received a rare heavy blow and paid the price that should have paid. Second, after experiencing the pursuit by Yan Yang Tian and Lin Moli, Chu Feng was deeply aware that how weak he was in front of the heaven realm. So, Chu Feng wanted to learn the dragon traveling through nine heavens that the Azure Dragon founder passed down to him. That martial skill was very profound, and if Chu Feng were to completely grasp it, even if he could not reach the powerful speed of Eggy's demonic wings of that day, in front of heaven realm experts, he could at least have some chances to escape. After all, where Chu Feng was heading towards was a completely unknown land. Chu Feng could not hope that kind-hearted people would help him if he met danger. So, Chu Feng could only rely on himself. He had to guarantee that he had a certain life-saving method before departing. Using an entire day, Chu Feng refined all the profound medicines that he got from the Lingyun school. It caused change to happen from Chu Feng's Dan Tian, which was silent for a long time, but at the end, Chu Feng was still unable to break into the profound realm. But Chu Feng was not discouraged. It was not far from what he had predicted, and although he was unable to break through, Chu Feng could still feel that it was not far off. If he got a few more high-quality profound medicine, he should be able to make a breakthrough. 
At that instant, Chu Fong was in a place deeper in than the essence pool. That place was quieter and it was the best place for him to cultivate. He closed his eyes and from that, used his mind to control the origin power within his body. Hmm. A layer of azure-colored gas visible by the naked eye was currently lingering around Chu Fong. They surged out from Chu Feng's body, then interweave and fused together. More and more gathered, and gradually, it formed fog that was azure-colored. The fog surged underneath Chu Feng's feet and slowly lifted him up from the ground. He floated in mid-air, and he continued floating higher. But the thing that was most mysterious was that as the azure-colored fog carried Chu Feng and floated up, it was actually changing and becoming a snake-like dragon-like form. One could even feel the aura of life from it. Whoosh, but suddenly, the fog disappeared like smoke and clouds, and Chu Feng also fell down from mid-air. Damn it. This dragon, traveling through nine heavens, is rather hard. Chu Feng's face was very ugly, because the difficulty of control over the dragon, traveling through nine heavens, surpassed his imagination. Even if it was him, he could not quickly grasp it. Right now, he did not even reach the simplest, first stage. Clap clap, but just that time, bursts of loud and clear applause rang out behind Chu Feng. 630485BFB9AC9622D6C69 Chapter 319 Cultivating with a Calm Heart The so-called, for the matters of the world, if there are people who are happy, there are people who are sad. The news of Chu Feng destroying the Lingyun school caused all other schools to be incomparably joyful, but as the real overlord of the Azure province, the Qilin prince's mansion, who also offended Chu Feng, sank into unprecedented terror. Mansion Lord, what should we do? Yan Yang Tian has already escaped, and look at us. In the broadest hall within the Qilin prince's mansion, Lin Moli sat on the head seat and all the experts who had fame, strength within the prince's mansion were all in there. However, the current them no longer had their arrogance of being high up on top. Every single one revealed fearful faces, and they were extremely uneasy. They were all terrified by the matter of the Lingyun school. They were terrified by Chu Feng's actions. They were deeply afraid that after the Lingyun school, their Qilin prince's mansion would come next, that they were included within the next wave of people being slaughtered. What is there to be afraid of? Don't forget, we are the Qilin prince's mansion, and we have the Jiang dynasty behind us. No matter how much nerves Chu Feng has, he will not dare to do anything against my Qilin prince's mansion unless he doesn't want to continue in the continent of the nine provinces. Lin Moli suddenly stood up and his powerful palm abruptly dropped. He shattered the chair underneath his body as he angrily roared, causing the entire hall to tremble. It still had to be said that after hearing his roar, everyone in the hall quieted down and their panicked expressions also calmed a bit. After that, Lin Moli spoke a lot more to the crowd. Such as already reporting Chu Feng's matter to the Jiang dynasty, that they would prepare to help the Qilin prince's mansion catch Chu Feng, that Chu Feng could no longer protect himself, that it would be impossible for him to rise from the East Mountains, that he would sooner or later get killed, etc. Those words successfully comforted the shaken hearts of the Qilin prince's mansion experts, but the experts did not see Lin Moli's full face of terror and extreme uneasiness in the instant he turned around. As Chu Feng's achievements were being noisily spread and as the outside world was being flipped upside down, underneath the Azure Dragon Mountain Range, there was this section of untainted land. Li Zhangqing and the Azure Dragon Elites, Chu Yu and the Chu family, as well as Su Ro, Su Mei, and the two others, were living quite well within the Thousand Bone Graveyard. After Chu Feng told everyone about the matter of him taking Chi Feng Yang away and destroying the Lingyun school with the assistance of a mysterious expert, everyone in that place was extremely happy. Chu Feng, you boy, you are too outstanding. You have actually brought back so many treasures but it's just that these things are too precious, and I would feel quite bad if I were to take them. Li Zhangqing looked at the rare treasures in front of his eyes, and he had smiles all over his face from excitement. His old wrinkles pleated together, and he looked just like a meat-filled steamed bun. It was because there were many good things placed in front of his face. 
large amounts of origin medicine, special weapons, and also protective equipment. All of them were taken from the Lingyan School's resource treasury, and currently, he gave them all to Li Zhongqing for free. School head. Since I, Chu Feng, caused the Azure Dragon School to be flattened and a thousand years of foundation to be destroyed in a single moment, I truly feel endless shame in my heart, so if you take these, I will feel a bit better. Chu Feng said with an apologetic face. Ah, you idiot boy. What they destroyed was only an empty frame. My Azure Dragon School's foundation has all been moved to this place. These are the roots for re-establishing my Azure Dragon School. Li Zhongqing cast his gaze towards a nearby place. There was a simple shelf over there, but all sorts of martial skills and mysterious techniques were neatly placed on that shelf. There was also the Azure Dragon School's resource register. These things were truly what a school needed to establish itself. But, Chu Feng still felt rather bad. There are no buts. These are just worldly materials and they are just the foundations for the rise of my Azure Dragon School. The ones over there are the true necessities for the rise of my Azure Dragon School. Li Zhongqing then looked towards the direction of the Essence Pool. Ever since entering this place, all the young generation disciples of the Azure Dragon School as well as the elders started to cultivate as they were in the pool, gaining great benefits. After that, Li Zhongqing patted Chu Feng's shoulders and said, And you are the hope who will lead them and strengthen my Azure Dragon School. Mim Lord School Head, don't worry. From today on, I, Chu Feng, will build an even grander Azure Dragon School on the Azure Dragon Mountain Range. At that time, not only will my Azure Dragon School be the overlord of the Azure Province, it will also have its part in the continent of the Nine Provinces. After hearing Li Zhongqing's words, Chu Feng's knot in his heart was undone and he solemnly vowed to guarantee. The reason why Chu Feng did not directly leave but rather return to this place again after destroying the Lingyan school was first, to let everyone who worried about him know that he, Chu Feng, was fine and also that the Lingyan school received a rare heavy blow and paid the price that should have paid. Second, after experiencing the pursuit by Yan Yang Tian and Lin Moli, Chu Feng was deeply aware that how weak he was in front of the Heaven Realm. So, Chu Feng wanted to learn the dragon traveling through nine heavens that the Azure Dragon founder passed down to him. That martial skill was very profound, and if Chu Feng were to completely grasp it, even if he could not reach the powerful speed of Eggy's demonic wings of that day, in front of Heaven Realm experts, he could at least have some chances to escape. After all, where Chu Feng was heading towards was a completely unknown land. Chu Feng could not hope that kind-hearted people would help him if he met danger. So, Chu Feng could only rely on himself. He had to guarantee that he had a certain life-saving method before departing. Using an entire day, Chu Feng refined all the profound medicines that he got from the Lingyan school. It caused change to happen from Chu Feng's Dan Tian, which was silent for a long time, but at the end, Chu Feng was still unable to break into the profound realm. But Chu Feng was not discouraged. It was not far from what he had predicted, and although he was unable to break through, Chu Feng could still feel that it was not far off. If he got a few more high-quality profound medicine, he should be able to make a breakthrough. At that instant, Chu Feng was in a place deeper in than the essence pool. That place was quieter and it was the best place for him to cultivate. He closed his eyes and from that, used his mind to control the origin power within his body. Hmm. A layer of azure-colored gas visible by the naked eye was currently lingering around Chu Feng. They surged out from Chu Feng's body, then interweave and fused together. More and more gathered, and gradually, it formed fog that was azure-colored. The fog surged underneath Chu Feng's feet and slowly lifted him up from the ground. He floated in mid-air, and he continued floating higher. But the thing that was most mysterious was that as the azure-colored fog carried Chu Feng and floated up, it was actually changing and becoming a snake-like dragon-like form. One could even feel the aura of life from it. Whoosh, but suddenly, the fog disappeared like smoke and clouds, and Chu Feng also fell down from mid-air. Damn it. 
This dragon, traveling through nine heavens, is rather hard. Chu Feng's face was very ugly, because the difficulty of control over the dragon, traveling through nine heavens, surpassed his imagination. Even if it was him, he could not quickly grasp it. Right now, he did not even reach the simplest, first stage. Clap clap, but just that time, bursts of loud and clear applause rang out behind Chu Feng. Martial God Azura Chapter 320 The Fusion of Ice and Fire Ancestor Turning his head around to look, Chu Feng discovered that it was the Azure Dragon founder. As he clapped, he walked towards him and there was even a smile of admiration hung on his face. Radiance shot in all directions from the Azure Dragon founder's body and he was completely different than normal consciousnesses. It was as if he was still truly living with extremely horrifying power hidden within his body. Impressive. My dragon traveling through nine heavens was originally a martial skill with heaven power based as the root, so normally, only people in the heaven realm should be able to learn it. Although I hypothesized that if one's spirit power was extremely strong, they could specially concentrate, control, and even use their profound power. But I never would have thought that you would be to reach that stage while only being in the origin realm with only origin power pregnant in your body. The Azure Dragon School's face was filled with praise. Ancestor Does the current me really have no way of cultivating this dragon, traveling through nine heavens? I am able to feel that this is an extremely strong bodily martial skill, and I really want to grasp it. Chu Feng said. Ho. Oh. Of course it's a very strong bodily martial skill. It's a martial skill that I gave fruit to from a secret skill. Its original form is a secret skill. The Azure Dragon founder lightly smiled, and following that, his body quickly floated up. Underneath, his illusionary feet, boundless azure-colored gas, had actually been condensed out. The gas surged more and more, and at the end, it was condensed into the appearance of a huge dragon. That huge dragon was a dozen meters or so long. Although it was shaped by the condensation of gas so its eyes were empty without light, its body emanated a type of strong vitality as if it originally had a spirit. A single claw could cut open a mountain peak, and a roar could shake ten thousand creatures. But that wasn't really much. He then saw the Azure Dragon founder stand on the head of the huge dragon with both of his hands behind his back. His robe fluttered as though he was the master of the huge dragon and suddenly, he pointed towards the distance and loudly yelled, Go! Roar, the huge dragon instantly angrily howled and following that, its huge claws slashed through the air. The might of the dragon swayed to cause wind, then it became a row of light and it had actually disappeared with a blink. Heavens, what a fast speed! At that instant, even Chu Feng was stupefied. Because at that moment, he could not feel the slightest bit of the Azure Dragon founder's aura, but deep in the emperor tomb, Chu Feng could still hear the roar of the huge dragon. It meant that the speed of the Azure Dragon founder was already fast to the extreme and even Chu Feng's naked eye could not pick it up. Wah! Another angrily roar caused a wave of wild wind to be lifted. That wind was strong and even Chu Feng found it difficult to stand still as he was blown by it and he couldn't help but back away. And at that moment, the huge dragon reappeared in front of Chu Feng's face while the Azure Dragon founder was still standing on the head of the huge dragon as he smiled and looked at Chu Feng. Hmm. The Azure Dragon founder waved his sleeve and the huge dragon turned into a lump of gas and it was absorbed into the Azure Dragon founder's body. But he slightly helplessly shook his head, sighed, and said, Ah, without my original body, it is impossible for me to display the power of this martial skill. It is only one-tenth of how it was when I was alive. What? Such strong might is actually only one-tenth from when he was alive. Then when the ancestor was living, how strong was he? Chu Feng widened his mouth from shock, and following that, he fiercely gulped. He was truly stunned by the strong methods of the Azure Dragon founder. That was a real expert. Worthy of being the number one person in the continent of the nine provinces, back then. Chu Feng, I just showed the dragon traveling through nine heavens to you. How was the feeling? The Azure Dragon founder smiled and asked. 
impressive. It is really impressive. It is the most profound martial skill that I had ever seen. Chu Feng had admiration across his face. He admired the Azure Dragon founder's strength, and he also admired how he used the dragon traveling through nine heavens so naturally. Ho! Oh. I said it before, but this is only a copy of a secret skill. If I was still living, I would have displayed that secret skill for you to see, and then, you would have known what true impressiveness would be. But regretfully, the secret skill is in my corpse and it has been sealed. Only after you revive me, can I pass it down to you. Before that, it is best for you to train well with this copy. The Azure Dragon founder said. But you said that this dragon, traveling through nine heavens requires at least heaven power in order to use it. What should I do? Chu Feng asked while requesting for a solution. Of course there's a way. Like I just said. Your spirit power is extremely strong, and the quality of the origin power in your body is high as well. The two combine into one, and it can cause your origin power to become strong, perhaps even stronger than the profound power of normal profound realm cultivators. That is also why your battle power is so exceptional. Right now, I have a training method that trains you on how to concentrate to gain more control over your origin power. As long as you can completely grasp your origin power, it won't be any problem for you to grasp the early step of the dragon traveling through nine heavens. The Azure Dragon founder said. Then what should I do? After hearing his words, Chu Feng started to get impatient because he truly wanted to grasp the profound dragon traveling through nine heavens. Follow me. The Azure Dragon founder indifferently smiled, turned around, and walked deeper into the Emperor tomb. Seeing that, Chu Feng also followed. Actually, he was very excited at that moment because within the Emperor tomb, the Azure Dragon founder made a boundary for their range of movement. He did not permit them to step out of the boundary. And Chu Feng, who always had his mind on the treasures of the Emperor tomb, was naturally very curious as for what things were outside of the boundary. Currently, the Azure Dragon founder was actually personally leading Chu Feng to pass that boundary, so obviously, Chu Feng was very excited because it meant that there was certainly something outside of the boundary. Chu Feng, the reason why they call this the Thousand Bone Graveyard is because they don't know anything. But I'm sure that more or less you understand, and you should have already been aware that this is a huge tomb. It is the grave of an absolute expert, and where we are right now is only the entrance to the tomb. Tombs are based on ranks according to the size of the system as well as the danger factors within. Based on my personal experience, this tomb is of an Emperor Tomb level. The Azure Dragon founder said. Emperor Tomb? Despite already knowing that it was an Emperor Tomb before, after the Azure Dragon founder gave his confirmation, Chu Feng still felt a bit shocked. If even the Azure Dragon founder, who was strong, got forced to his current state, it could be seen how terrifying the Emperor Tomb was. To be honest, there were truly a lot of people who entered this place back in that year. Pretty much all the peak experts on the continent of that era were gathered, but sadly, no one returned alive. If I didn't get that magical pearl, in reality, even if I became a broken spirit, I would have already been dissipated, not to mention being able to keep my current strength. But Chu Feng, actually, we discovered three magical pearls that year. Suddenly, the Azure Dragon founder smiled and spoke. Three? Where are the other two? Chu Feng felt shocked. If one pearl was already so magical, how would the other two be? But he was more curious as for why there were two, yet such a capable person, such as the Azure Dragon founder, did not take them. Was it possible that he could not have taken them? Or were there other reasons? At that instant, Chu Feng was truly curious to the extreme. As for the Azure Dragon founder, he also stirred up some suspense this time. He chuckled, then said to Chu Feng, no need to rush. You will see the two other pearls very soon. Chu Feng did not ask any more after hearing that. He only followed the steps of the Azure Dragon founder and walked deeper in. At the end, in front of Chu Feng, a huge cave world appeared. It was so vast that one could not see the borders, 
and it was even vaster than the cave world underneath the Black Tortoise Mountain Range. But at that very instant, the thing that attracted Chu Feng's eyeballs the most was not the vast underground world. It was the huge and bizarre lake within the underground world. The reason why the lake was said to be bizarre was because on one half, it was ice. The ice was thick, as though it froze straight to the deepest parts of the lake and it emitted extremely bone-piercing chilliness. As for the other half of the lake, flames rose to the sky. A large area of fire snakes rolled and raged while making air-piercing and fierce howls. It created a sharp contrast with the ice from the other side. Truly, ice and fire existed together, and the fusion of ice and fire was happening right in front of his eyes. 630485 Beft B9 8C 9622 D6 C69 Chapter 320 The Fusion of Ice and Fire Ancestor Turning his head around to look, Chu Feng discovered that it was the Azure Dragon founder. As he clapped, he walked towards him and there was even a smile of admiration hung on his face. Radiance shot in all directions from the Azure Dragon founder's body and he was completely different than normal consciousnesses. It was as if he was still truly living with extremely horrifying power hidden within his body. Impressive. My dragon traveling through nine heavens was originally a martial skill with heaven power based as the root, so normally, only people in the heaven realm should be able to learn it. Although I hypothesized that if one's spirit power was extremely strong, they could specially concentrate, control, and even use their profound power. But I never would have thought that you would be to reach that stage while only being in the origin realm with only origin power pregnant in your body. The Azure Dragon School's face was filled with praise. Ancestor. Does the current me really have no way of cultivating this dragon, traveling through nine heavens? I am able to feel that this is an extremely strong bodily martial skill, and I really want to grasp it. Chu Feng said. Ho. Oh. Of course it's a very strong bodily martial skill. It's a martial skill that I gave fruit to from a secret skill. Its original form is a secret skill. The Azure Dragon founder lightly smiled, and following that, his body quickly floated up. Underneath, his illusionary feet, boundless azure-colored gas, had actually been condensed out. The gas surged more and more, and at the end, it was condensed into the appearance of a huge dragon. That huge dragon was a dozen meters or so long. Although it was shaped by the condensation of gas so its eyes were empty without light, its body emanated a type of strong vitality as if it originally had a spirit. A single claw could cut open a mountain peak, and a roar could shake ten thousand creatures. But that wasn't really much. He then saw the Azure Dragon founder stand on the head of the huge dragon with both of his hands behind his back. His robe fluttered as though he was the master of the huge dragon and suddenly, he pointed towards the distance and loudly yelled, Go! Roar, the huge dragon instantly angrily howled and following that, its huge claws slashed through the air. The might of the dragon swayed to cause wind, then it became a row of light and it had actually disappeared with a blink. Heavens, what a fast speed! At that instant, even Chu Feng was stupefied. Because at that moment, he could not feel the slightest bit of the Azure Dragon founder's aura but deep in the emperor tomb, Chu Feng could still hear the roar of the huge dragon. It meant that the speed of the Azure Dragon founder was already fast to the extreme and even Chu Feng's naked eye could not pick it up. Wah! Another angrily roar caused a wave of wild wind to be lifted. That wind was strong and even Chu Feng found it difficult to stand still as he was blown by it and he couldn't help but back away. And at that moment, the huge dragon reappeared in front of Chu Feng's face, while the Azure Dragon founder was still standing on the head of the huge dragon as he smiled and looked at Chu Feng. Hmm. The Azure Dragon founder waved his sleeve and the huge dragon turned into a lump of gas, and it was absorbed into the Azure Dragon founder's body. But he slightly helplessly shook his head, sighed, and said, Ah, without my original body, it is impossible for me to display the power of this martial skill. It is only one-tenth of how it was when I was alive. What? Such strong might is actually only one-tenth from when he was alive. Then when the ancestor was living, how strong was he? 
Chu Feng widened his mouth from shock, and following that, he fiercely gulped. He was truly stunned by the strong methods of the Azure Dragon founder. That was a real expert. Worthy of being the number one person in the continent of the nine provinces, back then. Chu Feng, I just showed the dragon traveling through nine heavens to you. How was the feeling? The Azure Dragon founder smiled and asked. Impressive. It is really impressive. It is the most profound martial skill that I had ever seen. Chu Feng had admiration across his face. He admired the Azure Dragon founder's strength, and he also admired how he used the dragon traveling through nine heavens so naturally. Ho! Oh. I said it before, but this is only a copy of a secret skill. If I was still living, I would have displayed that secret skill for you to see, and then, you would have known what true impressiveness would be. But regretfully, the secret skill is in my corpse and it has been sealed. Only after you revive me, can I pass it down to you. Before that, it is best for you to train well with this copy. The Azure Dragon founder said. But you said that this dragon, traveling through nine heavens requires at least heaven power in order to use it. What should I do? Chu Feng asked while requesting for a solution. Of course there's a way. Like I just said. Your spirit power is extremely strong, and the quality of the origin power in your body is high as well. The two combine into one, and it can cause your origin power to become strong perhaps even stronger than the profound power of normal profound realm cultivators. That is also why your battle power is so exceptional. Right now, I have a training method that trains you on how to concentrate to gain more control over your origin power. As long as you can completely grasp your origin power, it won't be any problem for you to grasp the early step of the dragon traveling through nine heavens. The Azure Dragon founder said. Then what should I do? After hearing his words, Chu Feng started to get impatient because he truly wanted to grasp the profound dragon traveling through nine heavens. Follow me. The Azure Dragon founder indifferently smiled, turned around, and walked deeper into the Emperor tomb. Seeing that, Chu Feng also followed. Actually, he was very excited at that moment because within the Emperor tomb, the Azure Dragon founder made a boundary for their range of movement. He did not permit them to step out of the boundary. And Chu Feng, who always had his mind on the treasures of the Emperor Tomb, was naturally very curious as for what things were outside of the boundary. Currently, the Azure Dragon founder was actually personally leading Chu Feng to pass that boundary, so obviously, Chu Feng was very excited because it meant that there was certainly something outside of the boundary. Chu Feng, the reason why they call this the Thousand Bone Graveyard is because they don't know anything. But I'm sure that more or less you understand, and you should have already been aware that this is a huge tomb. It is the grave of an absolute expert, and where we are right now is only the entrance to the tomb. Tombs are based on ranks according to the size of the system as well as the danger factors within. Based on my personal experience, this tomb is of an emperor tomb level. The Azure Dragon founder said. Emperor Tomb? Despite already knowing that it was an Emperor Tomb before, after the Azure Dragon founder gave his confirmation, Chu Feng still felt a bit shocked. If even the Azure Dragon founder, who was strong, got forced to his current state, it could be seen how terrifying the Emperor Tomb was. To be honest, there were truly a lot of people who entered this place back in that year. Pretty much all the peak experts on the continent of that era were gathered, but sadly, no one returned alive. If I didn't get that magical pearl, in reality, even if I became a broken spirit, I would have already been dissipated, not to mention being able to keep my current strength. But Chu Feng, actually, we discovered three magical pearls that year. Suddenly, the Azure Dragon founder smiled and spoke. Three? Where are the other two? Chu Feng felt shocked. If one pearl was already so magical, how would the other two be? But he was more curious as for why there were two, yet such a capable person, such as the Azure Dragon founder, did not take them. Was it possible that he could not have taken them? Or were there other reasons? At that instant, Chu Feng was truly curious to the extreme. As for the Azure Dragon founder, 
he also stirred up some suspense this time. He chuckled, then said to Chu Feng, no need to rush. You will see the two other pearls very soon. Chu Feng did not ask any more after hearing that. He only followed the steps of the Azure Dragon founder and walked deeper in. At the end, in front of Chu Feng, a huge cave world appeared. It was so vast that one could not see the borders, and it was even vaster than the cave world underneath the Black Tortoise Mountain Range. But at that very instant, the thing that attracted Chu Feng's eyeballs the most was not the vast underground world. It was the huge and bizarre lake within the underground world. The reason why the lake was said to be bizarre was because on one half, it was ice. The ice was thick, as though it froze straight to the deepest parts of the lake and it emitted extremely bone-piercing chilliness. As for the other half of the lake, flames rose to the sky. A large area of fire snakes rolled and raged while making air-piercing and fierce howls. It created a sharp contrast with the ice from the other side. Truly, ice and fire existed together, and the fusion of ice and fire was happening right in front of his eyes.